In the previous video, we just finished talking about the sample mean. And the sample mean we discussed was not a resistant measure of center, meaning it wasn't resistant to outliers. Well, that problem gets addressed in the median, in calculating the median. Okay, so um, the median, remember sample mean was um, x bar, remember that? This was sample mean, this was in the previous video, all right? Um, it, for median, x tilde, so you put a little squiggly line over the x, this is sample median, this is the notation that we use for sample median. Um, okay, so how do we calculate sample median? Well, median is the middle number, okay? So uh, we should first sort our data, smallest to largest, all right? Okay, and then we look for the middle observation. So one way that people do that is that they'll, you know, go one, two, they'll go crossing them off from both sides until they get to the center, okay? Uh, another way that you could do it is use this formula n plus 1 divided by 2. Now what this is, is this is basically a midpoint formula between the first and the nth observation. Okay, so um, the first and the nth observation you find the point that, the, the observation that's in the middle. So let's see, how many observations are there? There are 7, so n is 7. 7 plus 1 divided by 2, so that would be 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So the fourth observation is the median. So one, two, three, four. The fourth observation is the median, so that's seven. So the median in this, in this um, data is seven. Okay, so now let's say we change up the data and we have, we've now included this outlier 24. Okay, let's see how that changes the median. So first thing, order your data, okay, um, 10, 10, 24. Always double check that you've included all the um, numbers. So I have eight numbers here, eight numbers there. Good. All right. Now, if I want to use this equation, I could do n plus 1 divided by 2. Now I have eight observations. So that means 9 divided by 2, which is 4.5. So the 4.5 observation, well, wait a second, wait, I have a fourth observation, 1, 2, three, four, I have a fifth observation. Um, what's the 4.5 observation? Well, it's the observation that's right between four and five. Okay, so what we do is we take the average of seven and eight to find the median, okay? So for this one, the median would be seven plus eight divided by two. That's the average of seven and eight, right? Sum up the two numbers divided by two. That'll be the average. So that'll be 15 divided by two, which is 7.5, right? You could tell the number that was between seven and eight is 7.5. Okay, so now the median changed to 7.5. Now notice adding in that outlier really did not have an effect on the median, right? And that's the main advantage to the median, is that it's not affected by extreme values, right? And so that makes it a resistant measure of center, unlike the mean. The main disadvantage of the median is that it um, basically, you know, it's either one or two numbers, or you know, it can be the average of two numbers, or uh, in the first example, it was just one number out of the entire data set, okay? So unlike the mean, mean which, um, you know, uses every number in its calculation, the median only uses one or two.